I went from London to Nice, the south of France, for a very short trip. That's why I was running around from one place to another, and I came across a marathon runner. Watch our interview, give it a like, follow Ray, and find out how to stay fit. Bonsoir, Bonsoir. from Nice. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Ça va? Um, ça va? Bien, merci. Et toi. Bien, yeah, I'll just copy what you say. That's okay. <laughs> that's, the, that's the safest way. <laughs> we both are Londoners. Yes. Happened to meet in Nice. Yeah. Nice Airport. I asked you where you are. Where you, no, I asked you where is my um, hotel. Yeah. And turned out that you guys are staying in the same hotel. Absolutely. How oh, lucky I am. Coincidence, right? So we, we, we traveled <laughs> together, navigate, and, and got the tickets, which was just good. It's always good Great. to have a assistance abroad or. At least the same language, right? And then I found out that you are also an athlete. So yes. tell us a little bit about your heritage. Okay, my heritage is um, Caribbean. So I was born in London and my mother is Jamaican and my dad is from Barbados. Have you visited any of the island? I've visited beaches? the amazing, beautiful Barbados and I've also been around the Caribbean as well. Nice, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Do you think it happened to help you in any way to become an athlete? Um, I don't think so. Um, when I went to school, I had a sports teacher who thought my heritage would help him win medals and trophies, but I just wasn't very good at school, unfortunately. So I think he gave up on me. So I wasn't an athlete when I was younger. I mean, if you go back in time, what would you tell your younger self about sport? You know, I would say, um, don't take it so seriously just have fun you know and enjoy it and just try as much sport as you can till you find the one which you enjoy that's nice i mean i don't think i can run but what's the difference between um marathon and sprint okay well uh the marathon is a a reasonably long distance at 26.2 miles and the sprint is a short high intensity run there's no way you're going to keep up that sprint for the long distance. So I'd say, yeah, the sprint is for short but strong efforts. And a marathon is just like life. Being patient, taking your time, breaking the distance down into little challenges. And hopefully you get to the goal. Is this uh, where you are? Is life for you a marathon or a sprint? <laughs> oh, a cr amazing question. Life is definitely a marathon. Um, when I was younger, it was a sprint, but I, I, I don't like to rush anymore. I like to kind of enjoy the scenery and take time with the challenges, you know? How could we encourage the young generation into sport these days? I think um, the key thing is to make things fun. Um, invite them to, to, to come down to, to whether it's hockey, football, bouldering or canoeing, anything. Invite them to come to the sports and try and make a game of it where it's not too competitive and not too serious. Mm. I think um, when things are too serious, people feel intimidated, especially young people. They don't want to be embarrassed, especially in front of their friends and their peers. So if we make it a more relaxed atmosphere, hopefully we can encourage them. And also we need to encourage the parents because by encouraging the parents, the parents will encourage the children and hopefully we can bring in the, the children and the parents and maybe even the grandparents too. That's amazing. That is so true because children do copy what the parents do. Yeah. You know, if the parents are on their phone all the time, what do you expect the kids to do, isn't it? That's correct. Yeah. And if you are into sport, naturally, they will grow into it and they will mm -hmm. love to be out there running, exercising. And that's hopefully what I'm trying to do with my daughter here. <laughs> Amazing. Would you say you are uh, a religious person and um, can faith give an athlete the edge over to overcome? I believe so. I, be I believe in God and I strongly believe that faith helps us. It, it gives us, it gives us standards and things to focus on and also the, the compassion for others. Um, yes, I'd like to win. But also, if, if there's an athlete that looks like they're tiring, I'll also like to che I'll cheer them on because they should also finish the race, yeah. finish the marathon. So I think faith is really important in, in giving us a focus, a center, a grounding, and also compassion for others. That's really beautifully said, honestly. I mean, and sometimes if you don't win, it's okay, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. 
it's take I know it's a cliche they say taking part that matters but you know if you don't take part you never win so if you don't try you never know so I think take part and see what happens yeah would uh, I mean why would you think some countries excel at certain sports mm -hmm. Um, I believe you met some Kenyan yes. marathons, uh -huh. <laughs> marathon runners, yeah. right? Tell us a little bit. Oh, I met some Kenyan athletes at, the, at Nice, Nice Marathon a few years ago, and they were incredible. And I believe that at a young age, they may be running to school or literally running errands. So culturally, they start running very young. And I think there's altitude, which plays a point in part in terms of efficiency and blood cells and that technology and also probably genetics so you know it's twitch fibers and being able to to able to have good endurance athletes do you run internationally do you run in different countries yes i do um i run in the europe america and caribbean i haven't yet been to asia but hopefully next year when is the next uh, run the next run is this weekend where nice oh, it's oh, here in nice here. yes that's why I'm here at Nice. Yeah, I'll be running the Nice Cannes Marathon from Nice all the way along the coast to Cannes. That's beautiful. I wish you good luck. And inshallah, in the future, we can join you at least halfway. Inshallah, that would be great. You're always welcome to join. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Thank you for talking to us, Ray. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. Ray came to Nice and got himself a medal, and I got myself an ice cream. Follow Sarah Derdesha for more adventures.